Bayou Sauvage um, was established in 1990, and it is the second largest urban refuge, you know, which is in a city setting. So we're pretty unique to the city of New Orleans. If you come on Bayou Sauvage, you will still be in the city of New Orleans. And you could go from downtown to New Orleans East and have two totally different topographies within 20 minutes. The Christmas tree recycling program um, was first birth over, it was about 20 years ago. It was a manual operation. Uh, we built cribs to put the trees in, and it was very labor intensive. And as the project morphed, um, we were contacted by the Louisiana Air National Guard. And they were looking for areas that they can do operations where, you know, they could lift items and placement and just practice. And that's when we're like, hey, we have these Christmas trees that, you know, you could put in the marsh for us. And it would save us a lot of, a lot of work. And they, they were in on it. And, you know, it's something we also partnered with the city of New Orleans because it's the citizens of New Orleans that donate their trees. And the trees are upcycled to put into Bayou Sauvage. Uh, the citizens are asked to remove everything from their tree. They have to remove the lights, the decorations, the tinsel, and we're asking them to put them out curbside. Then those trees are collected by the sanitation department with the city of New Orleans and brought to um, some land that we have here where they can be dumped out. From there, the trees are bundled between 50 and 60 trees compose each bundle. Those bundles are held together by wire straps that are tightened up. Um, after they're finished bundling, then the National Guard ground crew will come in and they put harnesses on each bundle. After that, a date is set and on that date, those bundles are airlifted about three at a time and put into an area of the marsh that's pre-marked by us. And they have to create, and this is part of their practice, is they have to create a straight line through the marsh from one pole to another pole. So they come in, they hover, until it's right where they want to place it and then someone who's in the helicopter releases a latch and the whole thing drops into the marsh. And then from there, we are out in the marsh on airboats and um, once they drop so many bundles, then we'll take the airboat, we drive up to those bundles, take the harnesses off, put them in the airboats, at some point, we take about 20, 25 harnesses back to a truck that rallies it back to the ground crew of the National Guard. You know, um, the trees not only slow down the wave fetch and let submerging vegetation grow, but also birds that are passing overhead will drop seeds and stuff like that. We've seen greenery growing out of um, the trees. And it's like, oh, wow, look at that, you know, what's going on. But we've seen it, a lot of marsh that has been created because of these trees. So, um, yeah, it, it's doing exactly what we needed to do. It's just all in a natural state, you know. So it's, it works. It's a great place, you know. Great place to learn about wildlife. And, and you don't have to get in your car or hop on a plane, you know, and take a flight. Or You just get in your car and drive 20 minutes. And you can see the great outdoors in your backyard. A lot of New Orleanians don't know this is their backyard. Come on out and play.